she doesn't get the customer involved. She gets the job done, she does the solving, and she does not get you involved. I'm Susie Nasser. I live in Milan, Italy. We have a second home in Israel because we want to be next to our daughter who was here. With the help of Deborah, even concluding which apartment to buy was very, very important because we almost fell into certain situations with abusive constructions or tricky ownership. Even the Kablan, I didn't really have a rapport with him either directly, which saves you a lot of angst, you know? I only had to do with Debbie, which means that Debbie has to be on call much more. I talked with Debbie, and in our case, we had medical issues, and I really could not be here. And everything between voicemails, video calls, when she was choosing my tiles or whatever, it all went through Debbie, and through, uh, you know, internet, pictures, and everything was done at distance, from a distance. I was in the hospital for many months and uh, my wife was assisting me in the hospital and from the hospital, through pictures, through uh, messages, we gave all the instructions and, and this jewel came out of this. The last time I saw Debbie was when we gave a hand and shook that she would be our man. From then, I never saw Debbie. I saw Debbie after I came into the apartment, found everything so beautiful. We asked her, please come and let's do a brindisia l'chaim together. That's when I saw her again. I felt I knew the house. I knew the home because I was so involved. She, she, she got me so involved with the, with the pictures and the videos and everything. I knew the home that I was coming into which is a very unusual experience. Everything ex was extremely smooth and she was always available when, need when needed. We went ahead very well, well, without any obstacles, without any stoppings. And this is the result. You know, you say in Italian, you say, metto mia mano su fuoco, I put my hand in fire. She's your... She's the architect. She's the, she's the to-go architect that I would say. Thank God that he, that he gave me this blessing. The beauty of finding a shaliach such as Debbie that made our dream come true, our dream home in Israel come true. What I had was being makar tov, thanking the Rabbana Shalolam for everything that had to do with this apartment. And Debbie is on top of the list. <laughs>